Hello everyone, today I'm reviewing Bonai 5800 Amps power bank and it comes with an Apple Lightning cable. Um, it's actually advertised as an Apple power bank but it can be used uh, for Android and many other um, battery operated devices. Um, I've bought this one because I used to have a tiny a small um, power bank probably smaller in size than this not in actual size but in power bank size uh, but my 19 year old daughter has actually took it from me she borrowed it once she borrowed it twice and it's i i kind of know it's not coming back and i always have one of these compact power banks with me when i go out so it doesn't matter if i go to the gym um, I'll put it in my gym bag, I have another one in my handbag and when I change my handbag, power bank goes with me um, together with a multi-charging cable. So because my daughter's taken mine, I needed um, one to actually um, take with me and I've bought this one, I'm going to share my thoughts with you. In the box, as you can see here at the top, we actually receive um, the fast charging cable the lightning cable they're called and um, this is the power bank itself it's um, a circle it's a cylinder uh, it comes in a tidy box it's not sealed nothing to worry about um, there's not much in there there's the instructions as well in case it helps people it's pretty straightforward um, now you're going to think why are they mentioning the lighting cable okay so the power bank actually has 5,800 mega amps battery capacity. Now the seller does say, and this is why I chose this one, um, on the listing it actually says 5,000 minimum. Why is this? Okay, when you buy a power bank and they say it's 10,000 mega amps, if you do a um, battery tester um, test, they never are that high. Okay, they're never as high as they're advertised. So basically the seller is saying, okay, we've manufactured this item for 5,800, but you're gonna get a minimum of five. So that's why I actually bought this one because besides its compact size, um, it's a pretty honest listing as I'm not getting any less than 5,000. I'm happy with that. So you get an idea, a, um, my iPhone 10 has 2,716. It's just over 2700 so that means that i can i've got enough power to almost charge my phone twice and um, which is really good for me um, so for emergencies uh, even to charge it at home if you're stuck and um, when you go on holiday these these power banks come extremely useful and um, they do mention the lightning cable because it doesn't matter if our power bank is fast charge if you don't use a line a cable which is fast charge capable it's not going to fast charge anything so to make sense of this um, the power bank I will show you on another picture but the input it's 5 volt 2 amps that means it has an input of 10 watts um, so to charge the power bank it's going to charge twice as fast as your usual iPhone will and then the output, which is at what charge does it give other items, the output is 5 volt 2.1 amp. So it's a slightly faster while charging items than while charging the power bank itself. Um, that's going to give us 10 and a half watts. That is classed as fast charging. It's not going to be a Calcon 4, um, so you have an idea, but it is still fast charging. But you need to use a fast charging cable. If you've got a fast charge power bank and you use any cable that's not fast charge capable, the cable is just going to provide a slow charge. So that's why they do actually mention um, the cable quite a bit. And it's just because of the fact that if you want to use the fast charge capability, you need to use a fast charge cable. And in this case, an Apple one is included. It has this little Velcro strap to keep the cable nice and tidy. Um, it's a simple cable, but just being fast charged, that makes it better than most. And this really, sometimes I explain something and then I go on to the next and I think, whoops, I've already gone through that. Uh, but yes, you, this is so you can clearly see the input, it's going to be 10 watts and the output's going to be 10 and a half. 
and the fast charge is in uh, cable lightning cable is included for apple if you're going to use it for android if you're going to use it for any other devices you can use it for anything because i'll show you in another picture you have a usb output entry so it, as long as you use the fast charge cable you can use an android you can use a micro usb sorry you can use an apple whichever you want as long as you're using a fast charge cable to take advantage of that 10 and a half um, fast charge capability which is really good favorite part and the main reason besides being fast charge why i chose this power bank as my new power bank and i'll make sure none of my children or my husband take this one away from me is the size so on this picture here i have my iphone 10 right by um the power bank i do have a ted baker case that makes my phone a bit more bulky they are bulky cases so you get an idea um, on here i have it by my e-cigarette so you can see it yes it is much um, in diameter it is bigger but lengthwise it's very compact on this picture here you're going to probably laugh at me okay but when i'm trying to picture the size of something um, if I see that item on top of a DNA4 paper, I get the size. So this is a DNA4 black card. That's the corner. And as you can see, that's all the space it takes. It's really compact. And that's one of the main reasons. Just in case you are a number person, here you go. Just over four inches, not even ten and a half. Um, yeah, ten and a half centimeter. It does. So really good and in the diameter so the width here that we have is inch and a half no inch and a quarter and just over three centimeters um probably i would say 325 something like that it is tiny it's very easy to hold very easy to carry and it has quite a big battery um for that size so i'm very happy size wise so this is the power button where you click once and it turns on, you click again and it turns off. And here we have a four lights, which will obviously tell us the power charge. So my power bank at the moment, it's at a 50%. I will say a bit lower because I don't know if you can see with all my terrible drawing, uh, but this blue light here, it's not as bright, okay? This one here is not as bright as the other one. So that means in probably no time, I'll go down to a 25%. And as you can see, I've plugged it in with a cable, plugged it to my iPhone 10, and immediately the battery is charging. So that's grand. Um, another thing that I need to tell you is um, my advice. When you receive it, you will get 75% 50% battery okay i know all sellers always say um charge your power bank as soon as it arrives blah 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 don't my advice is completely empty drain the battery and when it's at zero it's not even lighting up it's not even turning on then you put it on charge and then you fully charge it you remove it from charge make sure it's powered off and you keep it safe in your bag in your gym bag in your handbag for next time you need it and it's fully charged they do tend to drain without use so if you have but not from today like in a day and uh, so if you're going to have it in your um, gym bag and after a month you haven't used it just keep an eye on it keep you know pressing the button and keep checking because as everything they do tend to lose a tiny bit of charge um, so don't do like my sister did that she said oh no my power bank's completely drained when did you last charge it oh a year ago but i haven't used it well duh uh, the charge's not going to stay there forever but it holds the charge pretty well um i've received it with it was nearly 75 percent full and i've used it i've tested it and it's still going strong so i haven't had the chance to um, charge it yet or to see how much charge it loses but as i keep on with using it i will update the review as i always do i will just add a comment on the comment box under the review and on this picture i actually wanted to show you that 
Uh, in this case, this is a cable that I have that has the two entries. It has the micro USB on one end and the Apple on the other end. So I can take it with me and charge any device I need on the go. And um, this is my ECG. I quit smoking three years ago. Um, and I do actually go places and run out of battery and think, you know, I, I didn't bring my spare battery. What am I going to do now? Blah, blah, blah. So um, a power bank comes very handy there again, maybe because of the flash, you cannot see it, but I guarantee you, you can see a bit of light there and um, the light is actually turned on. So my power bank is charging my ECG. Um, so it's great. I can charge my ECG. I can charge my phone. I can charge any device, you know, my um if you've got earphones, in my case, my earbuds, anything that you need charging, this power bank is going to charge it. The only thing you need to do is just use the, the correct power cable for the device you're using and make sure it's a fast charge cable. Also worth mentioning, in this case, my um, ECG, it's not fast charge. Uh, because it's only going to charge at 5 volts, 1 amp, it's going to charge at 5 watts. In that case, we're not talking magic. So even though the power bank, it's a fast charge power bank, if the device you're charging, it's not uh, fast charge compatible, then it's just going to charge at the normal uh, watts that it requires. So regardless that my power bank is giving my electric ciggy, I, oh my God, I promise my handwriting is much better than my drawing with this pen. Okay, this one is giving out um, 10 and a half watts, but my e ciggy is just absorbing and charging at five watts. No fault of the power bank, it's because the device takes that charge full stop. It would be the same if I plugged it in with a mains adapter, with a USB, smart USB port, that's how it charges. But if your device that you're charging is a fast charge capable device, then you are going to be able to get up to 10 and a half, not anymore, but 10 and a half is already over twice um, the watts of a normal Apple mains adapter. So thumbs up there. So we have into account the price, it's extremely cheap, uh, the size, the design, it says it's made of aluminium, I'm quite happy with it, um, it's not plastic, you know, it's metal, it looks really cool, It's a, um, I have the black one, it's a matte black, um, looks really nice, I need to mention uh, the charging ports, you've got two different ones, the USB uh, port is going to be the output, and the input is the little micro USB port there. So um, bear with me one second, because I think I've just said a big mistake. It actually charges, yes, I have. It actually charges with the Apple cable, okay? So it does enough micro USB input to charge. It charges by um, an Apple um, cable, but that's the cable that you have included. So you can charge it with the one that comes with it. So overall, yes, it's going to be a thumbs up. You know, it's fast charge to charge the battery. It's fast charge to charge other devices. It comes with a fast charge Apple cable and it has a good amount of battery on it. Minimum 5,000, uh, maximum 5,800. I'll let you know how it goes so far, so good. I'm very happy with it. What would I, any cons? Not really. What would I improve? Um, I would actually would have added a couple of pounds on the price and perhaps added a little case or a little um, pouch or drawstring bag to keep my power bank together with my cable inside my handbag or in my gym bag. But there again, that's just one of those things that you can you know, buy separately very cheap. Something to consider perhaps for the manufacturer it's always nice to have a little case to put the power bank and the cable neatly together so you've always got everything handy and there's no way of forgetting at home one or the other uh, but so far purchase it's a thumbs up i do highly recommend it thanks for watching